Hey guys, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. Um, today is a base game build, uh, and I am making a family home. So I have imaginatively titled this the base game family home. Uh, you know, whoa! <laughs> like, such a, such a creative name there, Mary. Um, yes, yeah, so this is just a simple home. Um, it's a kind of ho style of home that I see a lot because they are my neighbours. This is the kind of style of home that my neighbours have. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I can look out my window right now and this kind of looking house is right there. So um, yeah, um, it's just going to be a quite simple family home, two bedrooms, enough for like four sims or so. Uh, and I gave them a little shed at the bottom of the garden because you know, why not? Um, so yeah, uh, I just fancied doing a base game build because I generally don't you know, build with just the base game, um, because I have all the packs, so, you know, whenever I build I generally have a lot of packs, and I have been trying to do a few more that are kind of limited packs, um, but I haven't done one before, I don't think, that's just base game, I might have done one. Hmm, don't think so though. So, you know, I thought I would go ahead and do base game only. Uh, so that absolutely anyone can download this home and if you have other packs then you know feel free to renovate and add some like a bit like an item that you're missing or something um, but you know in you know even if you you don't have other packs you just have base game if you want to renovate it to your style then go ahead um, do whatever you fancy with the build you know up to you um, but yeah so as you can see from what I've just done, I have brickwork around the sides and the back of the building and the front has like a wooden cladding um, because I feel that's quite normal around me um, or that, that kind of partial brick, partial cladding or you know just some render or um, you know stuff like that it's very natural for me around here so I thought I'd do a build like that um, and there's also like a little porch on the front so that porch isn't particularly used for anything other than, you know, it's occasionally used for storage or, you know, that's where you take your shoes off or, you know, that kind of stuff. It's just like a little extra entrance and makes the house not look quite so flat. <laughs> uh, so I'm just sectioning off the house at the moment. Um, and I think right now I'm just deciding what I'm going to do with the uh, upstairs. Oh, it's long pause. That or I was changing, you know, an episode on The Sims. Not on The Sims, on Netflix. Um, but yeah, I was trying to decide what kind of um, banister to go with. And I went back and forth a bit. I also went back and forth a bit because those colours don't seem to be the same colour. But it's the same like position in the swatches. See, those don't seem, look, seem to look the same either. So, But they're the same like swatch number. So there we go. Um, and anyway, I've sectioned off upstairs. So upstairs there's going to be two bathrooms, two bedrooms and a study. Um... So that you know, plenty of room for stuff downstairs. There's there is like an entrance hallway. Uh, there is a kitchen, a living room, dining space, and a bathroom. So this build, this build has like if you were to have three Sims living in here, then there's a toilet each, <laughs> uh, which I don't think is a thing that happens in normal houses, uh, unless you live alone. There's not normally um, you know a toilet each. Um, yeah, anyway, um, oh, I've just gone around and put all the doors and windows in. Excuse me, that was a yawn. Oh, um, and again, I'm having like an internal fight with myself uh, as I'm building this here. Like, how many windows do I need? Where can I afford to not put a window? I want to put loads of windows in, but then, you know, again, I looked out my window and was like, oh, there aren't many windows, are there? Because people aren't a fan of having a gazillion windows um i also then i was also trying to make it look so it didn't look that strange um it does look a bit weird from the back because uh, <laughs> there are windows in kind of odd places but um i was thinking of putting another door uh to the back of the house um outside but then there's like three doors which in the sims just seems like a like a lot um so yeah um just gonna let you know that this was i filmed i've built this just before 
the update that came out on Thursday where we got a whole bunch of new base game stuff so <laughs> sorry I'm not going to be using any of the new um, uh, wallpaper swatches or any of the new couches or anything so yeah if you want to download this house and put in the new the new stuff that we've got because it is amazing including like the new sliding doors and stuff like that then go right ahead um but sadly they're not in this build um i will put them in future builds that i do though i promise because i love them they look great um and so do all the outfit the new like outfit bits that we get um th that we that we've gotten not that we get tenses mary tenses um but yeah I was very excited. I was very happy for that for that announcement. Um, but yeah, we are in the kitchen. Just putting in some cabinets. Trying not to like overdo it with cabinets because again, I feel like I do that quite a lot. You know, you don't need ca a cabinet on every single bit of wall. Um, but you know, you do need them some places. And I thought I'd put this little like china cabinet in the kitchen uh, because I never use those. Um, and I thought, why not? Let's use it. Um, and I will say doing this base game build is really difficult for me because I'm so used to using all the stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for that yawn again. I'm yawning a lot because I'm not breathing properly because I feel like I'm speaking too quickly. Um, and when I speak too quickly, I just don't breathe. And that makes you need to yawn. So apologies. Try to breathe properly. Um, but that's it for the kitchen. Just, you know, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty plain. Um, but, you know, you don't need a whole bunch of stuff in there, do you? Um, I turned move objects off there, as you saw, because uh, I wanted to make sure that the table and chairs could actually properly fit in that little alcove. Uh, I didn't, like, sim test it, but I thought as long as it'll, f if it fits naturally without move objects, the sim should be able to, like, get in there and um, set at all the seats. Uh, and for some reason, it took me forever to decide what colour of chair to use because I didn't want to do multicolour chairs like I do a lot because I feel it like you know and in real home you're not really going to do that are you? You're not going to have multicolour chairs around a table I mean you could do if you wanted but um, and you know I like to make my builds kind of like real houses so unless I'm having like a particularly weird like funky kick where I'm like, oh yeah, let's do the, all this like crazy. Um, just, you know, normal colours. And I thought that blue looks really nice. Uh, especially with that blue carpet. Oh wait, no, I've turned it to black. Mm. I must have decided there was too much blue. But still, I think it looks nice. Um, and then, oh, this bit I found really hard because I do not particularly like the base game couches. <laughs> as I found out, I r really like the parenthood couches and ones from like City Living, I love them. But the base game ones, mmm, they are not my cup of tea. I would not buy those couches in my home. <laughs> I would totally have the parenthood of couches in my house. Uh, but those are kind of crazy colours. And personally, I really like that. I'd have white walls and crazy couches. That would be what I'd do. Um, and then I decided that I would do the hallway at the moment. Because I think I was having a bit of an issue with like what to put in the living room. Since I already you know, put couches and a fireplace in there I was like what else do I put in here so it's a little break I've done this uh, I put the shoe racks in the porch so there'd be something in the porch and then there's a little um uh what is it mirror and a like a little end table kind of thing a side table thing it's just a table uh, just so that you know you can throw your keys on there have some nice flowers as you walk to the door beautiful I think it looks lovely uh, again, another pause. I must have been taking a while slash something interesting was on my laptop. Because um, I, whenever I build, I build on my computer and have my laptop going with some kind of TV show or film or something on. Or YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, and then I put a TV in the living room along with a couple of bookcases. And I decided to put like a toy chest. Because, you know... You might have kids in this house. So there we go, toys. Ta da! There's nothing magical about it, you know. Really basic bathroom downstairs. Um, 
yeah, nothing really to say about that. The bathrooms are all pretty basic, um, you know, shower and sink and toilet. Um, that one I had a bit of an issue with, like, oh, where am I going to put this so that it's all together? Um, and then sizing size, size down the lights, because the size of the lights sometimes frustrates me. That's about it. That's all I can say. Um, there you go. And I put a fake hamper in there with some dirty clothes, because uh, I really love the laundry day stuff, but obviously, base game build don't have laundry day so I put one of the like the decorative hampers in um, yes yeah, so onto the study which is nice pale blue because uh, I think that's a really nice color to like have in a work environment um, and putting bits and bobs including the scary clown I forgot the scary sad clown was in the Sims 4 because I remember that from like the Sims 2 or Sims 3 or even the Sims 1 and I swear at some point it came alive um, but I don't know I was a, I was a small child when I played like the older Sims games, so I don't know how much of it is was actually in The Sims and how much is just me making it up, like with my imagination. But I swear there was a sad clown painting that for, that looked very scary to me, and um, I'm sure at some point it came alive and like the the clown came out and like I don't know attacked your Sims, mm, maybe not attacked them, but definitely creeped them out. That's for sure. Um, but anyway, yeah, onto the this is like the second bedroom because uh, the other one's going to be the master bedroom because this one's a bit of an odd shape um, I was originally just going to put a double bed in there but then thought actually let's put two single beds and then it'll work nicely for like multiple sims and that means that you can definitely have like three or four sims in your household whether you're going to have two parents and two children or a single parent with two children uh, and then I thought I'd put this fancy ottoman in because I've started liking, really liking to put ottomans in places. Uh, ends of beds are great if it's a double bed, but you can't really put them at the end of a single bed. But it's a nice place to perch, so that you know if you're reading in in, in your room, you don't necessarily have to sit on the bed. Uh, and then I thought I'd use this. I think it's the Princess Cordelia bed. I think that's what it's called. I might be making that up. The fancy bed. Um, I thought I'd use that because I never use that in base game because I'm pretty sure it's a very expensive bed um, and I normally go for like the cats and dogs bed or if I'm gonna go for like a really good like top stats bed I normally go with the four poster one from City Living um, because I'm just very used to having all the stuff um, so yeah I thought I'd put the big mirror in there uh, so that they could have you know when they get dressed they can see themselves in their full glory and yeah I thought a little chair that matched the bed quite nicely would go quite nicely there um, and then I think I'm just trying to put some bits and bobs in this hallway to make it look less empty um, again a little end table with some like flowers on it and a little rug runner um, do I actually keep that there? I think you do um, just because you know I feel like in a house with wood everywhere you have to have yeah, you slippers on or lots of rugs uh, otherwise your feet get really cold um, believe me that's, I grew up in a house that had mainly wooden floors uh, so slippers are a must um, and then you can see that I put some planters uh, in the uh, shed and I also put some planters on the outside I think oh I'm about to um, and then I wanted to have like a nice bit of patio but I didn't want to I really like this like terrain paint though I'm constantly having an issue of making the edges straight uh, but I didn't want to put like an actual like cut like flooring down I just yeah yeah I think it's because I'd already used it out the front and just wanted to keep going with it um, and then I noticed that there is two sizes of those little round tables um, there is a small size and then a bigger size and I had I'd never noticed that before um, and again with these um, like parasol tables I normally use the ones from backyard stuff uh, that are bigger and six sit six sit six people Ooh, say the words properly oh and there's the screenshots sorry I totally missed that as you can see that I did a little bit more um, like train stuff afterwards um, but I think it looks really nice and here we go through the house like a little tour um, you know, the kitchen, it looks lovely. I really like that blue carpet with that room. I think it looks great. Um, and the living room, it's very beige with hints of colour here and there. Um, 
Yeah. I mean, this is a very beige house. I apologise if you're not that into beige. But I think this room is quite nice. It's quite decadent. Uh, without being too over the top. Um, and this room's quite nice. Oh, to be honest, I think all the rooms are nice, but there we go. Uh, that's it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this build. Obviously, it is on the gallery. And the link's there, down for you in the description. Or if you see, search for Mesa Sheep uh, or Mesa Sheep Games on the gallery, you will find it. Um, please like the video. Give me a, th you know, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>